Air conception paramotors offer one of the best power-to-weight ratios on the market. While earlier generations had some known weak points, most of these components have been significantly improved over time. They are still not perfect, but if your priorities are high power output, low weight, electric start, and a clutch, air conception remains one of the best engine choices available. One of the most important modifications is rotating the carburetor 180 degrees. This requires swapping the throttle shaft from a WB3A, WB32, or WB47 carburetor, fabricating a new throttle cable bracket, and installing a 10 mm heat-resistant spacer under the carburetor. This modification provides sufficient clearance for the new throttle arm and significantly reduces heat transfer from the engine to the carburetor. As a result, the engine runs less lean at high RPM due to lower Venturi temperatures. It also helps prevent vapor lock and offers several additional reliability benefits. For operations in very cold conditions, the ignition cable should be replaced with a premium silicone ignition cable. Standard cables may become brittle and fail due to vibration in temperatures below zero degrees Celsius. To prevent accidental engine shutdowns, especially during takeoff, install a short section of rubber hose over the kill switch. This helps avoid unintended contact when releasing the risers. A fuel tank ventilation shutoff valve is also recommended. Without it, fuel leakage can occur during transport if the paramotor is not kept upright while fuel remains in the tank. Installing a back protector is strongly advised to protect the spine in the event of a crash. This is a critical safety component unless you are willing to risk serious injury. A fuel flow sensor is also beneficial as fuel consumption rate is a valuable indicator of overall engine health and tuning quality. Always allow the engine to warm up at low to medium RPM before applying full power. Closely monitor CHT temperatures after any carburetor adjustment or modification to the fuel system. Air conception frames tend to be tail heavy. Modifying the base improves balance, resulting in a more upright, stable, and balanced weight distribution when resting on the ground. When the carburetor is mounted with the metering side facing forward and the pump side toward the propeller, RPM is rarely affected when leaning forward. This is why the 180-degree carburetor modification is so important on air conception engines. With this setup, the engine maintains a stable idle even when leaning forward, without bogging or stalling. Finally, conduct thorough full power ground testing to ensure the engine is not overheating and runs well at the whole power band before flight. I now have approximately 250 flight hours on air conception engines, with only a few critical failures. Based on my experience, they are my preferred brand of all power motors out there. Most issues are heat related, and nearly all of them trace back to the carburetor. A fully understanding of how a two-stroke engine operates and common knowledge of physics minimizes the risk of incidents and engine failure. Air Conception uses a non-branded copy of the Walbro 37 carburetor. I have tested various alternatives, including inexpensive Chinese clones from AliExpress, as well as genuine Walbro 37 units. Although there are minor visual differences, their performance is largely similar, so I keep the genuine WB37 as a spare only. The Walbro 37 is designed for engines in the 150 to 200 cubic centimeters range, no more, no less. Running a 270 cubic centimeters two-stroke engine producing over 30 horsepower pushes this carburetor to its limits. Adding an external Walbro fuel pump, which is rated for engines up to 25 horsepower only, further complicates precise and reliable tuning. For this reason, a CHT, cylinder head temperature, Sensor is absolutely essential. Monitoring temperature is critical when tuning for both performance and reliability. Do not fly without one. This is a flying machine you trust with your life. Proper maintenance is essential for safe and enjoyable flying.